Welcome back to Gamer Sanctuary. Um, Jeff and I both had the day off, so we decided to get together for some 40K this afternoon. Uh, we're going to hang out with, uh, with the guys afterward in the evening, but for now we're going to be playing a big game of 40K. We have 2,000 points. Uh, we're going to be doing the brand new Craft World Eldar, Craft World Eldar versus the brand new Space Marines. So let's take a quick shot of the armies and uh, get to the game. Here we have my 2,000 points of Eldar. It is a Spirit Host detachment with an allied Craft World detachment and an allied Harlequin detachment. Uh, so within the Spirit Host, we've got the uh, uh, Spirit Seer, five Wraith Guard with D sides and a Wave Serpent with a Scatter Laser and Shuriken Cannon. Uh, we have five, two squads of five Wraith Guard with D cannons and Wave Serpents with Bright Lances and Shuriken Cannons. Wraith Lord with um, Flamers, Ghost Glaive, and uh, Star Cannon. Uh, Wraith Knight with double D cannons and two Scatter Lasers. Uh, and then for the allied Eldar detachment, we have a Farseer and a Jet Bike. Uh, we have four Windrider jet bikes with a one with a Shuriken cannon, and that's it. That's 200 points worth of Eldar allies. Uh, mostly just because I wanted to play with the Farseer. I haven't uh, used the Farseer much in uh, uh, from the new Codex yet. Uh, and then you've seen this Harlequin formation a lot because it is really cool. We get the uh, um, uh, what should we, I can't remember, the, remember what it's called, Cast of Heroes or something like that. Uh, Solitaire level two uh, Spirit Seer Neuro Disruptor. Uh, a Haywire Grenade, Haywire Grenade, and a, uh, a Plain Death Jester. So we have three different Psychic decks, uh, a grand total of seven levels of Psychic Powers, and a whole lot of really tough Eldar to deal with. Here we have Jeff's Astral Knight Space Marine Chapter. He has a Chapter Master with a Thunder Hammer, Shield Eternal, and an Auspex on a bike. Uh, he is with his Command Squad. It has four Combi Grav, oh, I'm sorry, four Grav Guns, and a, a, uh, an Apothecary. That's going to be nasty. Um, Two bike squads. This one has uh, uh, Melta Combi Melta and uh, Multi Melta, or is it? I'm sorry, two two Melta guns mm -hmm. and a Multi Melta. This one has two Grav guns and a Multi Melta. There's an assault squad with double flamers, Centurion squad with Grav cannons and Grav amps. There's a level two librarian in the back right there. Uh, Dreadnought, uh, Last cannons and missile launcher, a Sakaran battle tank with Last cannons sponsons, ten scouts with sniper rifles, a Thunderfire cannon, uh, a drop pod just for the Centurions. It's going to be yucky. Uh, I'm assuming the librarian's going to hide with them too to give them uh, some prescience and rerolls and all sorts of fun crap. And then uh, a Storm Talon with last cannons. 2,000 points right there. Here we have a shot of our table. Um, I want to show off some of the really cool pieces of terrain that Jeff has been putting together over the uh, last couple years. Uh, you've seen some of this in Bat Reps before. Uh, we are playing the, uh, the the last Maelstrom mission where you start with all your cards and then you uh, you get fewer cards every turn. Uh, I have my Eldar all in their Wave Serpents lined up along the uh, a little bit back along the edge. Um, Wraith Lord's here, Jet Bike's here, uh, Wraith Knight's got his toe in the building here. Uh, but the strategic de deployment of my Harlequins kind of mess with Jeff's scouts a little bit. I have my Death Jester hiding back here. Uh, my Shadow Seer is right down here. And my... Solitaire is completely out of line of sight right here, just slightly more than 12 inches away from everyone back here. So he's going to try to cause some backfield havoc while uh, Jeff's spikes are advancing forward. He's got his uh, assault squad in reserve along with the Centurions in the drop pot and the Storm Talon. I have the first turn unless Jeff can seize. You want to grab it on camera? Because it always works. No, nope, nope. it doesn't work this time. That's a two. So I'm going to go with the first turn and um, we'll come back after the top of turn one. Top of turn one. Uh, my Wave Serpent, I generated my six objectives. I'm not going to go over all the ones I, that I pulled. I'll just tell you which ones I achieved. Uh, my Wave Serpents moved forward towards the center. Uh, my Jet Bikes came over here and then jumped over here in the uh, the Shooting Phasers Turbo Boost and, and uh, made their Jet Bike Assault move, uh, jump. I'm just getting in the face of that Sakaran, making him scared. That's really all I'm trying to do. The Solitaire jumps up onto the building and throws a Haywire Grenade at the Sakaran and glanced it. Um, the Shadows here. Managed to kill three of the command squad with uh, Laughter of Sorrows. I love that uh, that psychic power because uh, everyone's like, "Oh, I can make a leadership ten check," and they make it, and then they they fail it abysmally by by passing really well. So Jeff actually rolled a uh, a six for his uh, uh, leadership check on the second roll and lost four models as a result. I'm sorry, three models because he did make one uh, feel no pain roll. Uh, 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 over here, these two wave serpents combined to, uh, add, along with the death jester, to take out one bike and drop a wound off the attack bike. But they made their leadership check with a two; otherwise, they would have been off the table. Um, the wraith knight shot his, his two D cannons at the dreadnought and blew it up. Did three hull points with one shot, and the other one didn't even need to, didn't even need to make it. Uh, that's it. So we're going to move into 
bottom of turn one, uh, I did score, I rolled Strands of Fate and rolled Objective 5 for that, so I secured 5, I secured 2 with that Wave Serpent, and I got Big Game Hunter with the uh, the Dreadnought plus First Blood, so I have 4 points to Jeff's nothing, but his turn is coming up, and I got a Drop Pod full of Centurions about to land somewhere. Bottom of turn one, the uh, Command Squad wheeled to, to try to shoot at my... Uh, uh, my Farseer's jet bikes, they provided a good distraction. Uh, thanks to the night fighting and jinking, uh, I, I ended up with one jet bike with a shuriken cannon and the Farseer. They failed their assault move by rolling a three, it was awesome. Uh, this Sakaran shot at that wave serpent, missed with the last can, actually failed to penetrate with both the last cans, rolled a one and a two, and then did nothing with the auto cannons as well. Uh, that was nice. The Thunderfire cannon and uh, this, uh, this squad over here managed to drop the uh, the wave serpent it actually immobilized it with a grab shot and then took the last hull point off in uh, the assault phase by hammer wrathing it uh, this one took two hit points uh, two hull points off from uh, hammer wrath hits I think or no cra uh, frag grenades crack grenades crack grenades uh, hammer wrath did nothing uh, scouts shot at the uh, the wraith lord and at the shadow seer and, and didn't do anything there but the Wraith Knight is gone because uh, I couldn't roll any saves uh, to, to save him. Um, I should have tried to park him in some cover. I wasn't thinking very clearly. And the six-up night fighting save just wasn't enough. So the Wraith Knight is gone, and I lost a Wave Serpent net. That is it. Uh, that one is jinking, by the way. Uh, other than that, I'm in pretty good shape. Mostly because Jeff failed to score a single point on any of his uh, six cards. So I'm going to draw two more to, draw, to get up to five, and then... Um, try to really build my lead on him this turn. Turn two coming up. Top of turn two is pretty devastating for me. Um, these guys moved over here and then did their uh, their uh, battle focus move to surround all the centurions and as you can see the librarians there with one moon left. Uh, pretty nasty stuff. Um, over here five D scythes on the uh, the bikes there wiped them out. Before that in the psychic phase a psychic shrieked uh, three wounds off the bikes there and they took off running that way. Um, so he's all by himself, running, he's going to regroup and come back this turn though. This wave serpent came flying over here, shot at the command squad, uh, the apothecary lookout served to the one guy inside and killed him, Dre uh, Wraith Lord did nothing, uh, I killed three of the scouts in that squad in the building uh, with um, Laughter of Sorrows, or whatever it's called, not Laughter of Sorrows, Laugh of Sorrows, and uh, they held. Uh, over here the jet bikes jumped to here, Shuriken Cannon shot the Sakaran in the back and wrecked it, and then the jet bike jumped over here. But, as always, the Solitaire fails in his job. Easily gets into combat with the uh, uh, the Tech Marine. Doesn't roll a single six for his Harlequin Caress attacks. And actually takes a wound in return from the, uh, the Servo Harness from the Tech Marine. So, that was anticlimactic. Uh, I did manage to score three points. I secured Objective 1. I uh, killed a character. I killed uh, the Bike Sergeant over here to get me, what was it called, uh, Legacy of Sorrow, and then Assassinate as well. I, I did kill, man, managed to kill another character somewhere else. Oh, the, the Centurion Sergeant. Um, so I got two characters. I didn't get the three to get the D3 points for Assassinate. Uh, but that's it. At the moment, I have seven points to Jeff's zero. Bottom of two. Coming up, let's see if he can get some reserves in and make this a uh, little bit more of a game. All right, before we get into bottom of turn two, um, Jeff decided he was going to hit and run with his uh, Tech Marine and Thunderfire Cannon because he's playing the White Scar's Chapter Tactics, and everything has hit and run. It doesn't say everything but, uh, so that technically means he has hit and run with his Thunderfire Cannon. And he rolled really high and ran him down the building and off into the woods. So, that yeah, the Thunderfire Cannon can just decide he doesn't want to be tied up in combat, and he's going to roll 3d6 to get away from it. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> so we're going to move into bottom of two now and uh, go from there. Bottom of turn two, Jeff's luck um, continues just to not be very good. Storm Talon comes in and shoots at the Wraith Lord and does zip. Not even a single wound. Uh, whiffed of the Laz cannons, failed to wound with the uh, assault cannons. The uh, command squad, or what's left of it, came over here and drove up and did manage to assault and kill the uh, Shadow Seer, but I did take a wound off the uh, the, the uh, Chapter Master. That's pretty good. Thunderfire Cannon shot at... Um, what did it shoot at? I don't remember what it shot at. Oh, it shot at the Solitaire and did nothing. Over here, kind of a risky shot, but didn't do anything. Um, the Librarian shot at and then charged and killed three of the Wraith Guard before uh, getting killed by uh, their attacks in return. The formation bonus re-rolling re misses is just so good. Um, the other bike tried to shoot at his grab gun and then charge at those uh, deep sides and is, of course, no longer there because you don't charge into deep sides. That's just bad. Uh, and that's it. So, oh, the, the Assault Marines did not come on. So, top of turn three, uh, I'm down a Psyker, and uh, we're going to see if I can't push Jeff off the table so those Assault Marines stay off the board.
Oh, he did, he did manage to get a single point, though. He uh, had the honor of the chapter card, and he issued a challenge with his chapter master. So, score is 7-1 to one right now. It is the top of turn three, and we're going to call this game because Jeff has a grand total of four scouts left and his flyer and his assault marines. He's not going to be able to really mount much of a comeback. Um, I blew up the drop pod with the, uh, the D cannons over here to be able to grab objective two under the wave serpent with those guys. Uh, I'm holding five. I'm also holding, uh, what is this one? This is one. So I do have supremacy. My jet bikes managed to shoot at uh, and take out a couple of his scouts up there so that I can jump up and grab that one. The solitaire ran out, assaulted the, uh, um, used his blitz move actually, assaulted the thunderfire cannon, killed the tech marine. Um, we didn't. Even, I didn't even fire the wave serpents at the uh, the storm town because it's just not going to be worth it. So the final sort of score, I think I said that at 14 points when all said and done. So it was really, it's really kind of shockingly lopsided. Uh, I felt I felt bad losing my my wraith knight, but uh, I paid Jeff back big time in the bottom of the turn. The new Eldar book is really stinking good. Uh, everyone. Everyone really has a, an issue with the amount of D weapons, and they, they kind of should, really. There, there are a lot, especially if you, if you use this formation. But uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and hopefully next time we'll give you something a little bit more engaging.